Oh my god, that hurt. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today's video is super exciting. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so you guys be sure to let me know if you like it. But tonight we're going to get ready for bed using all Dollar Tree products. I'm basically calling it my Dollar Tree nighttime routine, but it's skincare, body care, oral care, and it's all Dollar Tree stuff. Some of the things I've used before, some of them it's going to be my first time trying out, but at the end we'll grade all the products and let you guys know if we should get it or forget it. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, hello, how are you? My name is Sarah. I'm from Philly. I'm a mom of two little boys. We're distance learning. I'm just trying to keep my life organized and together I'm all about living life on a budget and I'm obsessed with Dollar Tree. So if you guys can relate to any of that or if you like any of that, definitely consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, turn on post notifications and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok because I've been trying my best to create content over there as well. All right, you guys, let's go and get in the shower. So I got most of my supplies here that we're going to try to use. I don't think we're going to use it all, but we'll try to use it. But we're going to start with the shower first. We have the Arm & Hammer Body Essentials. We're going to use this as like a little scrub rag, see how it is. And then I created this DIY apple pie body scrub that I shared on Instagram. And if you guys, I'll put a little video of how to make this all Dollar Tree and it smells amazing. The only thing that I don't have for the shower here is a razor. So I'm just going to try out this one that I got from Target the other day. But everything else will be Dollar Tree. So I am fresh out the shower. I did my intro after I took the shower. I am loving this lotion right here. It's the Dermacel Moisturizing Lotion. It's the Eczema Relief. Super duper nice. Leaves your skin feeling moisturized but not greasy. Definitely would recommend this. 10 out of 10. So to get started on the skincare, I'm going to use this micellar water from Biore. It's the charcoal cleansing micellar water. I have stopped using makeup remover wipes. I used to use them all the time. I used to get them at Dollar Tree, but I heard so many bad things about them that I just started using this. There are so many other brands that you can use. It's basically like a little trial size that you get at Dollar Tree, and I just use it on a little cotton. And I just use this on a little cotton pad. For cleansing, I have two things that I want to try. I'm going to try this one. It's the April Bath and Shower Cleansing Facial Scrubber. It looks really cool. It looks like you put like, so it says, wet your face with warm water, remove and wet sponge, add your favorite cleanser or scrub. I think you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the cleanser in here. Well, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to use this Eco Tools one with our cleanser. For the cleanser, I'm going to use the St. Ives Cleansing Stick in Matcha Green Tea. This is a daily detoxifying cleanser and, ref and refreshes skin. This one is cool because you kind of like roll it on, I believe. Cool. So we're going to try this one with the Eco Tools, and then we're going to give this April Bath and Shower um, a try with the Dermasil Igvit invigorating facial scrub with the vitamin E. It says it deep cleanses, oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, a gentle scrub that deeply cleanses, buffs, and brightens skin. So we're going to use all of these together for our cleansing and our exfoliation, and I'm super duper excited. <laughs> So I definitely would say this thing is not a get it. I just don't get it. You know, it's like, it, I don't know. I just would not reuse this again. I love the, the cognac sponge. So I definitely would say this thing is not a get it. I just don't get it. You know, it's like, it, I don't know. I just would not reuse this again. I love the, the cognac sponges. I hope I'm saying that right. I prefer that over this. This just kind of like felt weird. I would say maybe for like a teenage girl because it's like super delicate. It's not super harsh, um, but was not my favorite. So I've talked about these nose strips before. I really, really like them. But then Dollar Tree came out with this blemish extractor. This is also like a blackhead or whitehead extractor. So these two things would do something similar. 
This blemish extractor you have to be super careful with. If you have never used one before, you don't know how to use it, I would definitely be careful. This one is kind of like easy and seamless. You can just do it and be done. But I'm going to use this for tonight because I really enjoy them. So basically one head, one side is for blackheads. You can use this like little thinner side and then this side is more for like big breakouts. Okay, I have a bunch of mask, masks here. I'm not sure which one is the best one to do. I'm gonna do the splitter mask just cause it looks cool. And I'm gonna do use this silicone applicator. I have used the one that was from, I think it was from, it was the Yes2 one that I did in my live, but I haven't used this one. So I love that it's pink. These are good cause you can just wipe them down. And I'm gonna open this. That was like a weird smell. Okay, now it's going to be fun to peel it off. So let's do once you get one good spot, it'll be all right. But this is not satisfying. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. It's like peeling all the hair off my face. Ow. Oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> Holy moly. Good googly moogly. My face feels amazing after that mask. Like, I feel like it like went deep within my pores and got everything out. Okay, so let's open up the Sassy and Chic Jade Roller. I absolutely love these. I think that they're such a good deal for a dollar. The size of these jade rollers are fantastic and they feel great on the skin. I'm going to use this Skin Nutrition Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. I have used this a couple of times, but I haven't used it regularly enough to see results. You just put a few drops in your hand and you can put it all over your face and your neck. You typically just go down here. Then I take my jade roller and I just massage it in. And go in an upward motion. The jade roller is so cooling. So if you have like um, like skin that tends to get red like mine does, it does a good job. You like cooling your skin off. I wanted to try this Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Nasal and Inha Nasal Inhaler. <laughs> I felt like it would help with some congestion. I wouldn't typically do this at night, but I wanted to try it. Oh, yeah, wow. Holy moly, it's like you stick bubble gum up your nose. Oh. Wow, it's, mo it's mint oil. It's Wow, that's nice. It like clears everything out. That is nice. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, let's find our blemish patches. So this is from, I guess this is just a Dollar Tree brand. It's the non-medicated blemish, blemish, blemish patch. And 
I'm just going to take one. They have a whole bunch of different sizes. And I'm going to take this one. This stupid thing is broken. And I'm going to, I have a zip right here. This is the last thing that I do every single night. It doesn't matter if it's the Dollar Tree lavender or if it's lavender oil that I use from anywhere. I always lather my whole entire self up in lavender oil. I have read that lavender oil doesn't necessarily make you sleepy. It is that scent. So it could be any scent, you know, but um, it says something about like a reoccurring scent can trigger sleepiness. So if you associate lavender with sleep, your body will start to relax. I just take a few drops and I start from my neck. And it gets so bad, my husband's like, it smells like you. <laughs> so I'll just take it and I'll do it here on my neck. And go up. And the Dollar Tree one is not fantastic, but it's not great either. So I would definitely recommend maybe splurging for a bigger size that you can get from like uh, Marshalls. TJ Maxx, somewhere like that is where I always get it from. And you can't forget lip balm. you got to go to sleep with lip balm on. So let's try this Wet n Wild Perfect Pal Gel Lip Balm. Hmm, this is really nice. Oh my gosh, this is good. So that was my entire nighttime self-care routine. I hope that it gave you guys ideas on what things you can find at Dollar Tree, what you can make, what you can buy. There are so many options out there. And I wanted to give you guys a rating of all the products that we tried in this video. So here is the rating of Dollar Tree products. If you like this video be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and let me know what you want to see me try next if you want a daytime or an afternoon how can we take this and run with it I think that it's a fun concept on how to try Dollar Tree products I love you guys thank you so much for being here thank you for watching give the video a thumbs up subscribe before you go sharing is caring so anytime you share my videos it helps me out more than you will ever know so share this video as always to all of my real ones that are still here thank you for being here thank you for watching I love all of those that stay to the end leave the word welcome in the comment section down below leave it in a funny snarky cute kind of way so that I can know who all the real ones are and who I need to feature in my next video thank you for being here thank you for watching I hope you guys are all safe happy and healthy and I will see you guys next time for another video bye you guys